Welcome to Electron Online. Here's a little bit more challenging yet again. Again, we're dealing with inequality symbols greater than or equal to, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than. But can we tell if these are true or false statements? In order to do that, we have to simplify what's on the left side. And we have to do order of priorities or order of operations. We want to do what's in the parentheses first. We want to multiply and divide before we add and subtract. In the case of expressions like this, where I have a numerator and a denominator, you want to work out the numerator first, you want to work out the denominator first, and then you want to divide the numerator by the denominator. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So here we have the expression 5 times 4 minus 1. So this becomes 5 times 4 minus 1 is 3, plus 3 divided by 2 times 4, well I can go ahead and multiply that already, 2 times 4, that is 8 plus 1 greater than or equal to 3, question mark. Now we need to do the multiplication here, and that gives us 5 times 3, which is equal to 15 plus 3 divided by 8 plus 1, which is 9, is that greater than or equal to 3, question mark. And finally, I add the two together in the numerator, that gives me 18 divided by 9, is that greater than or equal to 3, question mark. Now we can tell here that 18 divided by 9 is only 2, and 2 is not greater or equal to 3, therefore this is a false statement. Moving on to our second example, here again we're going to add what's in the parentheses first, we get 7 times 3 plus 1, which is 4, minus 2 divided by 5 times 2, which is 10, plus 3, is that less than or equal to 2? Oop, 2, question mark. Well, continuing on, 7 times 4, that's 28. We get 28 minus 2 divided by 10 plus 3, that is 13. Is that less than or equal to 2? Question mark. Well, we still can't tell for sure, so let's continue. 28 minus 2, that is 26 divided by 13, is that less than or equal to 2? Question mark. And here we can tell that 26 divided by 13, that's equal to 2, is 2 less than or equal to 2? Question mark. And the answer is yes it is. Because even though 2 is not less than 2, it is definitely equal to 2. And if one of the two conditions is correct, then we must call this a true statement. Coming over here, again we need to work out what's in the parentheses first. This becomes 2 times 5 plus 3, which is 15, plus 2 times 2, which is 4, divided by 2 times 4 minus 1, which is 3. Should be a 2 right here. There we go. Is that greater than 4? Question mark. We can't tell yet, but let's continue. Again, we'll multiply these out first. 2 times 15, that is 30, plus 4, divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. Is that greater than 4? Question mark. Well, we don't quite know yet, so let's continue. 30 plus 4, that is 34, divided by 6, greater than 4? Question mark. Well, I know that 34 divided by 6 has to be greater than 4 because I know that 30 divided by 6 is 5, and 34 divided by 6 must be greater than 5. So therefore, I know that this is greater than 4, so this makes that a true statement. Finally, our last example, 9 times 7 minus 1. So we work out what's in the parentheses first. We get 9 times 6 minus 8 times 2, which is 16, divided by 4 times 6 minus 1, which is 4 times 5. Is that greater than 2? Question mark. Well, continuing with the exercise, 9 times 6 is 54. So we get 54 minus 16, divided by 4 times 5 is 20. Is that greater than 2? Question mark. Still not sure. Let's subtract the 16 from the 54. That would give me 38. 38 divided by 20. Is that greater than 2? Question mark. Well, I know that 40 divided by 20 is 2. And 38 divided by 20, therefore, must be smaller than 2. Therefore, it's not greater than 2. That makes this a false statement. And that's how we work out these kind of examples. It's a good example because we also have to work with order of operations. Work out what's in the parentheses first, then multiply first before we add and subtract. And that's how that's done.